Google Cloud's Network Intelligence Center offers several tools and modules that enable you to diagnose and troubleshoot connectivity issues, monitor real-time performance metrics and visualize network health, proactively detect network problems or misconfigurations by providing insights about firewall rules. In this video, you will learn how to create and run connectivity tests to an external HTTPS load balancer and interpret the results in both a successful and failing scenario. You may be wondering, what is connectivity tests and how does it help you? Well, connectivity test is one of the key diagnostic tools in the Network Intelligence Center. It enables you to check the connectivity by verifying whether a request can travel successfully between network endpoints. The endpoint is a source or a destination of network traffic, such as Compute Engine Virtual Machine, Google Kubernetes Engine Cluster, Load Balancer Forwarding Rule, or an IP address on the internet. It checks reachability by analyzing your network configuration and, in certain use cases, by sending probe packets. We will now learn how exactly the connectivity test works. Connectivity test traces a simulated packet from an external host to a virtual IP address for an external HTTPS load balancer. Notice, the TCP connection from the external host terminates at the proxy for the external HTTPS load balancer. After this step, the external HTTPS load balancer initiates a new TCP connection to a VM acting as the load balancer's backend. In this example, the connectivity test configuration analysis has three traces. This is because it creates one trace for each possible path to the three load balancer backends. The connectivity test does this because it validates only configurations, not the live data plane. Note, for the actual data plane network traffic, the load balancing algorithm chooses a VM instance for each backend connection. One of the key features of the connectivity tests is that its configuration analysis supports tracing simulated packets to all types of Google Cloud load balancers. Now it's time for a quick demo. Let's create a connectivity test with an external HTTPS load balancer forwarding rule IP as the destination. Go to the connectivity test page in the cloud console. Click create connectivity test. Choose a suitable protocol. In our example, we will select the TCP protocol. Under Source, select the IP address from the drop-down menu and specify the IP address from an external client. Under Destination, select the IP address from the drop-down menu and specify the IP address of the external HTTPS load balancer. Leave the checkbox for This is an IP address to use in GCP cleared. Set the destination port as 80 if your load balancer is listening only for HTTP requests. If you want to listen for HTTPS request, then set the port as 443. Click Create. This creates the test and runs it. Alright, the test is completed. Let's learn how to interpret the result of the connectivity test. This table here shows the traces for all the three backend VMs. The trace 0 is auto-selected. You can view the trace for a particular VM by clicking on the specific trace. Let's analyze the trace 0, which is on the right-hand panel. Great, the test was successful. This result demonstrates that a simulated packet from an external IP address could successfully reach the load balancer's backend VM instances. This indicates that all the Google Cloud resources associated with the external HTTPS load balancer, namely the forwarding rule, the load balancer backends, the proxy connection, the VPC firewall rules are all configured correctly. Let's now look at another connectivity test trace that failed. Hmm, the analysis shows the packets could be dropped. This is because the VPC network's ingress firewall rules are not allowing the traffic to the load balancer backends. Thus, the backends are unreachable from load balancer's proxy. To fix this, a firewall rule needs to be added to allow the connections from load balancer proxy to the backend virtual machines. Refer to this documentation for more information. For more information on connectivity tests for load balancers, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.